Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What happens when someone poops in a public pool? Imagine a sunny day, a dip in the pool, and suddenly an unexpected guest floats by. Yes, we're talking about poop in the pool. It's not just gross, it's a health concern too. When fecal matter enters the pool, it brings with it germs. One of the most common is cryptosporidium. This tough little germ can survive chlorine's wrath for days. If someone ingests pool water contaminated with fecal matter, they might get sick. Symptoms can include diarrhea, stomach cramps, and nausea. Pool operators have protocols for these situations. They must clear the pool immediately to prevent germ spread. The next step is to raise chlorine levels and run the pump. This process is called hyperchlorination. It's a chemical showdown where chlorine battles the germs. The goal is to sanitize the water completely. Afterward, the chlorine levels are brought back to safe swimming standards. This ensures the pool is safe for swimmers again. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention provides guidelines for pool sanitation. Their aim is to protect public health. Regular pool maintenance also helps prevent contamination. This includes checking chlorine levels and pH balance. Remember, never swim if you're experiencing diarrhea. It's a simple way to keep pools clean and safe. Swimming is fun, but it's everyone's responsibility to keep the pool poop-free. Let's dive into fun, not germs. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.